Hey Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you that are cross-watching and welcome to your weekly tarot love messages. Um, we're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you for the upcoming week. It is going to be a general reading guys so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal reading please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video. So let's go ahead and see what the cards have for you in store. Um, okay, I feel like for some of you There may be someone here whom you're taking things really slow with, okay? It could be a connecting romantic energy. It could be someone that you've recently met, or it could be someone that you know, but this connection is um, progressing at a really slow pace. It could be you, though. You're the one who might be trying to take it slow and just not, not show all of your cards, um, which is making you more enticing, or it is making this person more attractive to you, and it's making this whole connection more enticing, purely because, you know, this person is not you know, laying all their cards out on the table, they've got a bit of a mysterious energy, a bit of a mysterious edge to this connection, and I think that's part of their appeal, it's part of their charm. So I feel like there are, this week, slowly things are going to come out about a person, or you're going to reveal things about yourself that I feel like have been taking some time to come out. But again, I think this is what's made the connection that little bit more enticing, that little bit more alluring. Um, you potentially could be looking um, forward to a romantic revival, okay? You might potentially hear from a past lover, a former flame, um, something that I feel like has faded out or maybe has been fading out for quite some time. So you might, um, an ex might reach out out of the blue unexpectedly and surprisingly, or you might be the one that is reaching out here, Aquarius, okay? Um, there may be a connection which unfortunately and sadly has faded, um, and I think that the two of you have really struggled with your differences. And I, I see that maybe this is you. Um, and I think what's really prompting this connection or conversation or even like this reconnection between you and the individual is nostalgia, especially with the Six of Cups. It's something that has ended, but it's this energy of, you know, maybe this is the one that got away or the one that you wish you could have had, or maybe you wish you had done things differently. So um, if it's this person reaching out to you, it's likely that, um, you know, someone here is feel, feeling very nostalgic about you. Um, they might be missing you. And this is someone who might want to reach out. Okay. They might want to reconnect with you. They might want to give this another crack. Okay. And see if there's you know if there's anything worth reigniting it might just be that this person is missing you and still you know cares about you sin um, sincere sincerely and just wants to see how you're going they just want to make sure you're doing all right okay you're doing okay you might be in a relationship with someone else okay you might or they might be in a relationship with someone else but i think this is someone who's honestly who just genuinely cares who cares about you and who's cared about you know the connection that you had and i think this is someone who is you know just wanting to maybe even catch up or just maybe just just wanting to hear your voice or just wanting to see that you're doing okay um okay um i'm also seeing that there's some sort of ending here um aquarius which is going to be the focus for this week um it's something i feel like um, it's a bit of a heavy energy. Um, it's something that might happen very un abruptly and unexpectedly for you. Um, or maybe this is something that's already happened, but this is something that you're focusing on, okay? The pain of this situation or the pain of this disconnection. Maybe this is someone who's ghosted you. Maybe it's a relationship that ended. You know, whether it's a romantic relationship, whether it's a business relationship, whether it's a friendship here, something he has ended. But sadly, it's actually ended on a painful note. And look, it didn't have to end this way, right? So someone he might have hurt you, someone he might have really betrayed you. They might have they may have broken your trust. Maybe you're finding it really, um, you know, hard to trust again. So Ten of Swords, because this is your energy. You've come up as a Ten and a Two of Swords. There's definitely some emotional turmoil in the energies. If it doesn't resonate with you, then it might not be your reading. But there's something here that I feel like has kind of thrown you off balance a little bit. Okay, someone's kind of knocked you off balance. Something someone says or something someone will say or something someone will do. It's kind of like you didn't see it coming. Okay, you didn't see it coming. Uh, maybe you chose not to see it coming. Sometimes we, 
you know, might look at things and see what we want to see rather than what's actually there, okay? So you might have romanticized, romanticized someone or romanticized a situation and something or someone turns out not, you know, who you thought they were, not who, you know, it's not all it's cracked out to be. So there is some, you know, there's this energy of betrayal, hurt, um, you know, someone having broken your trust, someone having backstabbed you, um, someone whom you, either you've trusted this person, um, you've really trusted this person, or um, you just, you kind of didn't see, you didn't see this coming, okay? Um, some sort of secret might be exposed and some sort of secret might be revealed and maybe this is what's um, causing this pain. I feel like, um, you know, there might be a close connecting energy here who might be harboring a secret from you, who might be keeping secrets, who might be, you know, embellishing their stories. Um, and I feel like it's something that you didn't see coming, honestly, because look, both the Ten of Swords and the Two of Swords, like with the Ten of Swords, notice how like the figure, um, notice how the swords are dr driven into his knife. So this is coming from the back. So obviously, you know, he did not see this coming. It's very unexpected. Someone has sneakily managed to drive these Ten of Swords and staked it into his back. The Two of Swords, we've got a figure here. She sits with the blindfold. Again, you know, she's kind of not aware of the situation. She's blindfolded and she doesn't see, um, you know, she doesn't necessarily see things coming as well. So something happens very unexpectedly and it's not pleasant. Okay, it, like I said, it could be an ending of a relationship. Someone might have ghosted you. Someone might ghost you. A friend might turn into an enemy. A secret might get revealed. And it's just someone might drop a bombshell on you. Okay, someone might say something that is really going to leave you feeling very emotionally upset. If someone takes an exit from your life, if someone takes a walk from your life, or if something ends, like a friendship or, you know, um, a romantic connection, whatever ends for you, do not chase it, okay? If doors are closed, you have to understand. And although it might be painful, it might be difficult to understand, Aqua, you have to understand that whatever is behind those closed doors is not meant for you, okay? The universe has something bigger for you. And if you keep resisting that, you'll be stuck with mediocre, okay? But the universe is something even better for you. So, and in order to accept what's coming, you have to let go of what was or what is. Okay, so definitely a painful ending um, of some sort, a betrayal. And again, you know, something ends for you, but I feel like it could have ended differently. I feel like this person could have had a little bit more compassion for the situation if they ghosted you, you know, or if they do ghost you, like, come on. They could have had at least a decency, right, to let you know that, hey, you guys aren't gelling or it's just not working out or they're not feeling it but you know it's or you know whoever like whoever um or even this person that you know drops a bombshell on you like they might say it very publicly rather than you know saying it to your face i don't know it's just that the situation feels like it could have gone down differently like whoever is behind this they could have managed it really differently but you know i guess that's a whole nother story so look there are some um there is that to watch out for and there is just this you know imbalance and there is some sort of shift so it's like a friend shifts into an enemy um or something that you had complete control of you want to, you now have little control of or you know a connection that was going really well just suddenly shifts and this person starts acting weird and starts acting distant you know someone whom you've been dating all of a sudden just um, vanishes just goes to you one day so some sort of shift it's not a shift in the right direction but just understand that at the end of the day it is a positive shift and I say that because you know whoever is taking an exit from your life they're basically eliminating themselves from your life so you know don't chase them better yet show them the door that kind of energy on a positive note, I do think you're um, receiving something very beautiful this week. And for a lot of you, it's, um, I feel like it's, it might be like a lovely card. It might be, um, I'm also seeing like flowers or even like a handwritten love message from someone. It could be from an ex. It could be from, you know, someone new. It could be someone from the past. Um, it could be from a friend, okay, but I do think you're receiving something, yeah, you're receiving either it's like a handwritten note, a love message, a really nice card, or like a lovely bunch of flowers, okay, so that's on a positive note. Um, 
you might also have a few you've got the moon okay the crescent moon that has showed up twice here and um, the moon is symbolic of it goes through stages of growth right growth and decline and there is something whilst you have to understand that whatever ends for you he just going back to this whole ending thing whatever ends for you he does so because it's it's creating room in your life for something new okay so you know that growth and decline that we're um, looking at so allow for something you know allow for something for this ending to do its thing which is create room in your life for someone or something new all right, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks, guys, so much for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel if you haven't already by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Guys, hit that subscribe button. It does help the channel to grow. Um, and thank you guys so much. Bye for now.